right, guys. Welcome in. Welcome back. Woo. Puffing and puffing. I have to do the river dance all over my, my garage floor here. I get some touch up stuff. And it is taking forever for it to dry. All right. Um, I don't know about you guys, but we have been doing a lot of lower back and stuff like that. But we need to get to some shoulder stuff. I woke up and had a really... Ah, oh, why does it always happen on camera? I need to just always be recording and just stretch. It's like my body knows. All right. So as I was saying, my neck was really, really stiff. Shoulder was stiff until I just released the right side. But we're going to get to our neck and shoulders today. Um, of course, we're going to hit the lower body like we always do. So let's hit that really quick, right fast. And then, right fast. And then we'll get to the, uh, into the uh, upper body. All right. Because I really want to release that neck, shoulders. All right. And thoracic. So... <clears throat> Let's come on over. Ah. I'll keep my side view again. Whew. Scary stretch, which isn't very scary anymore. Five. Four, three, two, one. All right. Let's twist off to the side. I think we got some release in here. I told you. Uh, it's just the right amount of tightness sometimes that you can feel. And I just released the, the center of my back, so I probably won't get it. Again, right here. Nope. Oh. Always disappointing. Always disappointing. Oh, that was shoulders. Round the back, if you can, while you're on your knees. Round, tuck your tail in right here. And then arch. Tuck your tail. Arch. And then tuck your tail again. Oh. When I first started tucking my tail in those positions, I was so scared to really, really tuck it in. It just seemed like something was going to pop or snap or whatnot. It's a natural range of motion, so I know it feels scary. But I can almost guarantee you, if you're in neutral, because even I feel the pressure when doing this, but I really tuck it in. And arch it out. <sighs> oh. So that's why we're in those different positions. That's exactly what I want you guys to do. Arch and tuck. Arch and tuck. All right? Oh, oh, who just got the right side to release in a major way? Who just did that? Oh, that is amazing. Oh, thank you, body, so very much. Oh, now with that being done, let's go into scary stretch right now. It's going to be really fun. Never get to release the right side. Oh, let's see what we got. We have nothing. It is amazing how much that right side holds up everything. Oh, that is just too good to be true. Bring these off of the ground. Oh, that is just too, too good. Oh, I want everybody to experience that. Oh, I want to tell you guys a super success story. Oh, about a client yesterday. Makes me feel so happy about what I do. Oh, that feels amazing. All right. Now I'm coming at an angle here. Oh, let's go ahead and lose the shoes. Because I don't want to mess up my, my new stuff here. Oh, 
and make sure it don't get me stupid. Let's go that way. All right, what we're gonna do now is on our elbows, feet flat. Ooh. Push that pelvis forward. Use that stool if you need to. I know for a lot of us that just doing this is a lot. Try to keep those glutes from flexing when you do it. Walk that stool up. Elbows. Notice that I'm about tabletop right now. I'm going to really exaggerate sticking out the glutes. Dropping my belly almost to the floor. Oh, but note that I'm not coming down past the stool. I'm staying up. I really want my back. You've seen those horses when the horses get old and they got their back droops. They got that sagging back. Kind of a old horse. Think like that, that you want that big droop in your back. Remember Mary Poppins when she rode her horse and had that big old droop in it? So right in the middle, you just want that back to droop down, just like that, exaggerate sticking that glute out. You feel that stretch through the chest? I like to go left to right, right here. Oh. You guys know what me right now, you've been working with me for a while. Less is more. Oh. Seems like nothing, that's a significant stretch. Oh. Over again. Oh, I love this because this gets all the way up into the thoracic. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get that arch, and then we're going to bow in. Oh, bow. Ah. Arch. Oh. And then bow. Oh. Arch. And then bow. Oh, walk in. Mm. The body is just being really cooperative today, isn't it? It is just really, really, really cooperative. I got to release, oh, big, big news, guys. Remember that, uh, what, three week, maybe four week ago knee that I had going on? Watched a movie last night and literally the length of the movie, about an hour and 45 minutes, I worked on just that single right knee. And right about halfway through the movie, about maybe an hour and 10 minutes in, uh, I got that knee to release. So no more right knee. Drop that pelvis down forward. Push it back. Oh. I think I got my knee back because of the great work I did with my new client. Oh. Made me feel like a superstar, honestly. Made her feel amazing, and then, oh. Has a major, major significant hard time walking. Goes and sees a therapist once, possibly sometimes two times a week. For the last almost 13 months, right? A little over a year. Honestly, did her evaluation after the evaluation she said, can I do a session right now on the spot? I said, okay, no problem. We did a 90 minute session, an hour and a half. Honest to God, hand to God. Done with the session. The lady was doing like, uh, what do you call those? Uh, rockets. She was doing like the rocket thing. From the rocket thing, she was like, can we do stairs now? And she had literally walking to the gym. <clears throat> She was having problems going up and down the stairs, but literally wanted to do steps. I said, well, I want to do stairs. No, we can't. This lady has been just literally over the moon for the last 24 hours. I can't believe it. Why doesn't my, my, uh, my therapist know this stuff? Oh. All right, push that pelvis forward. Really, really arching now, pushing that pelvis forward, holding. We could have had all the releases we need. That hand is right in the center of the back. Oh, that is amazing, guys. We have come so far with going satchel, right? Remember when we got started with this about what? Maybe 
two months ago, three months, two months ago, working all of this here, and look how far we've come. Especially, I'm speaking from personal experience, because I was even tight coming through here, especially through that right hip. Yes, yeah, it's been exactly about three months, yep. That feels amazing to do now, when that was just like, <laughs> now it just feels so good to do. And remember, <clears throat> when I would come out of that situation, that position, I would be so careful about going back because we didn't have that muscle there and the, the body had never been used to doing this. Now we have all that muscle memory going on through here and the body expects us to do this. This is when muscle memory is good. Not tricking the body is good. All right, now let's come here, extend out. Now we're gonna get into some of this chest and we start getting into that shoulder. All right, right, I mean, left to left. Oh, see, it's just my thoracic just released. Upper, upper uh, spine just released right there coming into this position. I think we're to the point where we can bring that hand up first and then start to bring it over. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, that used to be H-E double hockey sticks for us to do. Now, that literally feels good, especially on this hip. This side used to just be, I used to make have to not make the face, but guys, when I would do that on this side, oh, I would be screaming inside. Oh, make sure those glutes are loose. Five, four, three, two, one. Before, I used to just drape down without a twist. It's a very subtle twist, not like on, on this side where I can literally twist, but I wasn't able to twist at all on the right side. So it's these little bounds that you make that you got to give yourself credit for because you know that's going to end up being the big movement. I'm going to pretty, pretty soon going to be able to put this hand all the way to the ground. I say I'm about maybe eight, maybe 10 inches away. See how I can twist on this side? On this side, not so much, not as much movement, uh, I'm probably around a whole foot, maybe 15 inches on this side, a whole eight inches difference from left to right, okay? But it's so much better than having zero to zero. All right, now, stretch that shoulder and open up that collarbone and clavicle even more. Oh. I need to open up that whole right side. Everything on the right right now is tight. <clears throat> Let's take that left and go over to the right heel. God, look how arched back I am. Look at that. That feels good. That literally feels good. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Even coming up, I have enough strength now that it's not scary to even pull myself back up. I know for a lot of us right now, we're like, how is he coming back up like that? Listen, it took me a while because we didn't have the strength here. We have the strength now and the body memory. So now it's able, we're able to come right back up and it's no big deal because trust me, two weeks ago, I mean, maybe a month ago when I was doing this and we really started getting more advanced, it was scary for me as well. So you're good, gonna get there as well. <clears throat> Taking that right hand over to the left foot. This used to be literally the scariest stretch I could do. Oh. 10, nine, see it still feels pretty weird. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. When I do this, I can feel the activation of my sciatic nerve. Ah. I absolutely can feel the activation of my sciatic nerve when I do that. So that's why, even though the sciatic is gone, uh, we keep pressing because it's not truly ever gone. <clears throat> and remember when I was doing that whole segment, found it, found it. I was constantly refining my sciatic nerve. It had went away, and then I would be fine for a few days, and it would come back and haunt me. And then I would do another stretch, and I'd be like, oh, we found it. That's when we started getting into all those different stretches from the chiropractor. <clears throat> 
And uh, now that I know all those advanced stretches from my own work and then him showing me some really new stuff that only a chiropractor would do, I would never know those stretches. <clears throat> all right. Now let's come over. Let's take a few steps back on our knees. Take that right hand. Cross it over to the um, left side of the stool. Take the left hand and cross it over to the right side of the stool. Go ahead and sit back. Oh, not all the way back on your feet, but just to back enough to where when you pull like that, you feel the opposite pull, the opposite direction. That is, see how gentle and small that movement is? I feel that as if I'm leaning all the way over to the wall over there. Oh, did you hear all that cracking in the hip? And we're stretching out the shoulders right now and the hip just said, pop, 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 pop. Oh, left to right, stretching out those, all oh, that back, that lumbar right now. All of the, uh, from the floating ribs up, you just feel that stretch coming all up the side of the back, up to the neck, left to right. Now, for my people that sit in a chair, this is probably like ah, pulling teeth. Ah, that move was probably like pulling teeth for you guys. Because your gluteus rumbus, literally what I was working right here, the muscles that support, we weren't going thoracic, we were going muscular, ah, are just um, my skeletal muscular, I'm sorry. Um, are just so super tight. When you start to do that, it is just like no go. Right, so I want you guys to be very uh, uh, a aware of it, and then be very cautious when you're doing those movements. So I don't want you to hyperextend anything, because trust me, you pull or strain something in your gluteus rhombus, and you're going to be like this, and it's going to feel like it's up here when it's way down here. When you go see the doctor, you're wondering why they're working on something down here when you constantly tell them, "No, doc, it's right here." But it started stemming from here, so I want you guys to be very wary of that when you're doing this. Nobody gets hurt on my watch, so please don't. Diminish my record. <laughs> All right, now, other side. Oh. oh, should I go like that? There we go. Ah, right hand on top now. It's a huge difference. Oh. Switch again. See the hesitation when I put that right hand on the bottom. When I come over this side, you'll see some hesitation. See that? That right there. That I'm not even controlling that. I want it to go smoothly. But, ooh. Ah, that right hip. It's stopping the stretch from going. And I'm stretching my upper back right now and shoulders. Ah, that's what I mean by the body moving cohesively as a unit. Ah, it can prohibit other things from being stretched. Now watch this last but not least. Check this stretch out. You guys haven't seen this one yet. Put your elbows up here. Walk, walk your elbows right back to the end, right where your elbow and a little bit of your uh, tricep is on there. You're going to keep them up at an angle. You're going to bend down. Mmm. Mmm. I'm going to lose my hat for this one. This feels so good. Stretching out that shoulder, neck, upper back. If you can, drop that head down. Oh, my God. Ooh. For some of us, like me right now, you might even have a numbing. Oh. When I get down that far, my shoulder goes numb. Meaning, oh, oh you heard that, big boy? I have blockage. So easy way to stop that. It's a good way to find out. So let's block, let's unblock it. Mm, you know how we do that, right? Easy peasy. You can be your own doctor. At least for preventative medicine. I can't fix a broken arm, but I can fix, fix a dislocated one or one that's not set right. Put that hand, back of the hand right there on the hip. Drop it down in that 
Lay and relax. Let the leg do everything right now. Involuntary. We're going to get some blood flow back in that bad boy. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Big crack. God, I hope you guys heard that. That sounded like a bass drum just went off. That might have been what was my blockage right there. Oh. That was intense. Oh. Oh. Walk it back out. Oh. So much better. I mean, as soon as I put it in there and I did that first rotation, bah! I probably set that thoracic back right in the, where it's supposed to be. Even though this one is not loose. Ooh, wee! As I was saying, as this one is not tight, and I haven't even brought the leg in yet. Right there, there it is, right? Ah! Oh, got it. Boy, is the body cooperating today. Walk it in. Hmm. See what's crazy is I thought the blockers was on the left. And it still was. Ah. And I gotta bring it in. You seen that adjustment in the shoulder? It tried to adjust. We want to be so far in that it can't adjust. Yeah. All right. Bring it back out. Guys, let me my nose tingle. Oh, yeah. And you ready for the big Coupe de Gracie? Deep breath in. Deep, 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 deep. Exhale, arch the back, stick out the chest. Exhale. Oh. That's what you call a Coup de Gracie. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. My back is warm as heck right now with all the new blood. Ah, I love it. Ah, ah, that feels so good. My body did an excellent job today. I gotta always stretch on camera even when I'm by myself. Just I'm gonna have to lie and just come in here and turn the camera on so my body thinks it's being doing something. It likes to perform. Oh my God, that was so perfect. I got my right side twice, center pelvis, left and right shoulder, left collarbone, didn't get the right collarbone, and then um, released both of the blockage in the shoulder. You can't get better. The only thing I didn't get was the um, right collarbone. Bop, bop, we died. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you had an awesome stretch. I really, really think you, hope you're taking advantage of some of these moves that I'm giving you because they are absolutely beneficial and rewarding. See you soon. Again, a lot of signing off.